Greetings, WC family. Thanks for joining me for February's Head of School message. I'm here at HP Lanes, the bowling alley, our high school teams call home, but back to that in just a moment. We're now officially in that time of year for new and returning families to make decisions about their school choice for the fall. For returning families, remember that we need to hear from you by February 28th for continuous enrollment to hold your spot for next school year. For new families, we hosted our first admissions information nights last month. We appreciate how many of you helped us with word of mouth advertising to encourage prospective families to check us out. We have two more of these events this month. The Lower School Admissions Information Night is set for February 21st at 7 p.m., while the Upper School Admissions Information Night is scheduled for February 28th at 7 p.m. Help us get the word out again to invite families into this incredible experience we call WC. Encourage prospective families to email admissions at worthingtonchristian.com for more information. Now back to athletics. I was here at HP Lanes a few weeks ago to take in a match to support our boys and girls bowling teams. It was great seeing them compete, engage in the life of the school, and connect with each other. All of our athletic teams are representing the school well this season. I'm proud of how these teams on both the middle school and high school levels have been competing this winter. Our boys and girls varsity basketball teams have been playing at an exceptional level this year. Keep in mind that the postseason begins in February. Be on the lookout through the month to see how our teams are scheduled so you can come out and support the Warriors. This time of year also brings numerous other engagement opportunities. I'd like to invite you to three specific arts events this month. The first event is the Strings Festival concert featuring students from the third grade through the senior year. This will be on February 9th at 7 p.m. at Grace Polaris Church's Worship Center. The second event is our jazz band concert. This will take place on February 16th at 7 p.m. at Grace Polaris Church as well. The third event I'd like to invite you to is our winter musical. This year's show is called A Year with Frog and Toad. We'll have four shows. The first show will be on Thursday at 7 p.m. and the second show will be on Friday, February 24th at 7 p.m. We have two additional shows on Saturday, February 25th at 2 and 7 p.m. with all shows in the AC Auditorium. Please join me in supporting our students at these events that feature their artistic abilities. Remember that we need your help with our five special projects that are part of our 50th anniversary Shining Ever Brighter campaign. These projects are in the areas of one, adopt a student to help families afford tuition, two, academics to fund teacher innovation grants, three, the arts to install retractable seating in the AC Auditorium, four, athletics to fund upgrades to athletic facilities, five, our endowment to enhance long-term fiscal stability. Our goal is to raise $500,000 for these five projects by June 30 of this year. Please consider helping us achieve this goal. Also, you still have an opportunity to help us through the Ohio Christian Education Network's Scholarship Granting Organization program. Each individual taxpayer can direct $750 toward the school of their choice and receive a direct tax credit. If you would like to help us in this way for the 2023-24 school year, any contributions made through March 15th will be available to students in need for the upcoming academic year. I appreciate your consideration of helping us with all the financial needs of the school. Let me ask you to circle a few more dates on your calendars to be a part of the culminating celebration of our 50th anniversary. On April 29th and 30th, we'll have numerous events to mark the golden anniversary of WC. We'll be pushing out more information about them in the coming weeks. Please plan to be with us as we celebrate the past and dream toward the future. Let me close by reflecting on a memory about February that many of us can relate to. One of my favorite times each school year growing up was Valentine's Day. It involved making boxes to share those little Valentine's Day cards, sharing candy, especially those little hearts with messages on them, and having class parties. It's all about love. There's a deeply meaningful quote about love that comes from St. Bernard of Clairvaux, a church leader from the 12th century. What he had to say resonates deeply with what WC is all about. Here's what he said. There are those who seek knowledge for the sake of knowledge, that is curiosity. There are those who seek knowledge to be known by others, that is vanity. There are those who seek knowledge in order to serve, that is love. 
Our approach to education at WC isn't about just curiosity, and it's definitely not about vanity, but we seek knowledge and learning in order to serve. We want to embody the love of Christ as His servants to a hurting world. I appreciate your being with me today. Let's continue to have a wonderful year, and go Warriors!